Hey guys, thank you for joining me. I am Latoya Hart and I want to welcome you back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Latoya Hart and I am the creator of Heartbreak Clinic, which is an online community of women that come together and we have different conversations about things that impact women, such as health, finance, relationship, dating, career growth, whatever you want to talk about, you name it, we go there and we give each other great advice tips and tools to move past wherever you are and into greatness. Today we are going to talk about sex before marriage. Should Is it something that we should engage in or is it something that you should not engage in? The answer is, it's totally up to you. The truth is this, if you are a woman of God and you are following the faith and living according to his word, then the answer is, the simple answer is no, right? But if you are, I guess, you know, you're a woman of God, but this is something that you've decided, this is a choice that you're making for yourself, here is what you need to know. If you decide to do this, then it could, one, impact your ability to make sound decisions and whether this person is truly right for you because now you are um your flesh is now tied and now you are uh, mentally physically and emotionally involved and you ha cannot separate yourself from the emotion and decide whether he is truly the person for you or whether the act of sex has impacted your judgment and now you're thinking that this is the person for you, but you not aren't of sound mind because now you have that other piece to think about. So to each his own, you know, totally up to you what you decide to do, but you need to be aware that if you decide that this is something you're going to engage in, then it will impact your ability to make a decision as to whether this person is right for you or not. But if you decide to be celibate today and continue to maintain that until you guys decide to get married, then you will know that that piece was not um, a part of the decision-making process. And you made your decision to marry and move forward with this person solely based on um, your attraction to him, moral values, his moral code, um, his faith, and things of substance and not things of the physical nature. The reality is this, even if you decide, I want to be intimate with him to make sure that we are physically compatible and our level of desire is the same going into the relationship, right? Okay, great, right? But as you age and as, you know, life happens, as health conditions come up, there may be situations where what you decided that you were going to try before you buy, there could be something that impacts one of your ability to perform, right? And if that happens, then what you set out to do initially um, could be, you know, out the door. So you have to make sure that when you are with someone, you are getting with them for the right reasons and you are looking at the right things to um to work on building the foundation for the relationship setting the foundation for the relationship because when you build things on unsolid foundations it may appear to be strong on the surface but long term it will begin to break down and you will begin to see things for what they what they truly are i am latoya hart if you have any questions i'm here to help i welcome you to send me a message so that we could chat about it if this message has resonated with you please feel free to like and share with someone this could be of value to. Again, I am Latoya Hart, and I will catch you in the next video.